Hello everybody, welcome back to German Auto House and if you not subscribe to our channel, please subscribe, ring that bell and you have more cool video about supercar, supercar repair and some tricks and funny things. Well, Aventador, Aventador, Aventador. The last time uh, we post how to recharge AC system, we did and still no AC on this car and we check again again and again and diagnosed this issue and actually it's a problem with the AC compressor we get the new AC compressor I already installed I I didn't film because uh, I start work on this car last Saturday but he, here I want to show you some how we remove that AC and how we install the first one this is old AC and it's like spin like without like a piston no nothing it's done I mean of course no AC and I made uh, special tools for this one because it's really difficult to remove and first uh, forget the access to this you need just like open one bolt you can move this support arm and then here is the AC of course discharge the system then one oil uh, returning line from uh, oil uh, cooler and here is the pulley and for removing this pulley this is 19 millimeter but it's it's really badly tight and if you try to uh, open with grab the wrench yeah like this if you try to open this uh, pulley by wrench I hope it's possible but not really on um, 80% it's that, that that bolt is locked really hard and mostly who remove this one and if it's no any way to remove you need to remove whole bridge like we post about alternator replacement but I did one tool this is 19 millimeter short and I welded bolt with a big nut <laughs> I don't know this is from some suspension part or whatever and then you install this like this special tools oh and by the way before I have a lock the pulley I will show you this is just a bar and then I have air hammer air hammer and then you install this air hammer like that and then connect and turn and you open this nut let me show you on that compressor how it looks because the air hammer it's way better it's way better and much easier like this when you install you just a spin yeah just like of course you have to ask somebody to help hold these special tools yeah, and it's a way easier to remove AC compressor and then just like three more three more bolts right there and you remove but without that one if that pulley is been locked whew, guys it's a big 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 problem it's take a lot of time now it's way easier yeah he almost on the way back just need retorque bolt, retorque pulley. Pulley is actually it's not that easy, just like slight torque. And done. Pam 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 pam. Beautiful car. Always I say beautiful. We install the new plenum intake. The spoiler brakes, exhaust, and this car is gonna be tuned. But here is the our old friend and if you remember guys we replace two turbos that turbos is went back and this one is still good but we decide to send uh, the turbos to company calling pure turbos 
and after one and a half months we have surprise car is smoking and I would like to install the yesterday video I didn't film but uh, I just film uh, from my phone to send the customer how this looks but actually now uh, just want to leave this guy or the, uh, whatever uh, this is what happens you can see just want to move camera yeah here is the turbine Da -da -da. one and a half months it's really low low mile after the turbo replacement and the worst case intake intake suck engine oil mm, now it's engine stuck I hope it's not any hydro knock because <laughs> it's a cause of the big damage need to pull out the turbos and check actually what happens but it's so sad well here is the turbos now it's actually is out you can see and yeah it's not spinning Don't believe it. right here yeah this is what I turn yeah, the shaft broken half. Wow, pure turbos, please. <laughs> Next time, make sure all parameters and size is correct. Well, well, well. Another day in paradise. And today we work on beautiful Lamborghini Aventador SV. We have a S, SV, and by the way, today is coming SVG. Just similar service. Uh, I mean, oil change inspection. That car is have 201 launch start, and the clutch looks like completely toasted. Uh, I think another maybe a couple thousand mile and time to replace. This guy we finish. Finish few things. I take off the rims, but oh, BMW came for so software update. We need update software. It's really simple. And we have a beautiful R8 Spider. My first time I see the combo silver one and blue one. Oh, the red top. That guy came for us on, for inspection. He just purchased this car from local dealer. And I think dealership did the service, right? Who did the service? A local Audi dealer. A local Audi did the service. And uh, the guy came uh, for... Uh, Key programming, inspection, and it has the oil leak, right? Mm -hmm. But let me show you guys what happens. You're gonna be really funny. <laughs> it's gonna be really funny. We just lift it up. Ilya don't know about this issue. No. Wow. Did you amazing this? Can you guys see that? Um forgot to tighten something yeah this is just like you can see the really 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 fresh engine oil <laughs> I mean this is like I think let's say because guys again you can see the how its plug is open I think this is 10-15 uh, miles and engine is gonna be blow because start leaking out this is oil pump oil pump over there <laughs> funny yeah this is how you can trust the official deal i mean this is not the dealer this is everything from from technician if you're born in two left head hand sorry yeah two left hand i mean okay don't take don't work on car doesn't matter this is super car expensive car don't touch it don't touch it we still fight with this aventador sv uh, we done the service uh, we done replace auto sensor but actually it's have this uh, trouble code auto sensor control circuit low feedback uh, it's about the auto sensor heater well we install the other one still same and then we start step by step check the voltage and check the harness and voltage is good fuse is good but no ground signal from ECU 
We check the harness from uh, auto sensor socket to the ECU. Everything is good and well, it's problem with the ECU. We talked to customer already and he can decide what to do. And like we, we, we actually we can replace ECU, we can program it, we can clone that ECU, no problem. And actually we have a Aventador S, Aventador SV and this is Aventador SVG. Uh, we have a small plan on this car, it's a service tire replacement and probably we do the, our exhaust from Stesso Performance in-house and then we tune this car. But this is the next step, I think next month, because it's too busy. Here is the, our uh, <laughs> exhaust for 720, let's say 765, it's a 3.5 and this is uh, original 3-inch exhaust. We planning to do our 3-inch uh, titanium and cut less than pipe of course oh by the way we have a cool things it's coming soon and this is whole body kit i believe lms some active body kit for our audi r8 and this 570 actually living soon we just replace wiper blade mechanism that uh, linkage and now it's car ready ready uh, back to customer tomorrow we have Lamborghini Urus for downpipe exhaust replacement and probably we tune this car. Well, SV is done. It's customer pick up this car and SV have a problem. Well, we'll see. Yeah, uh, the problem is I would like to remind you guys uh, with the ECU uh, one driver like transistor whatever it start losing some and it's not sent a signal to uh, auto sensor and for heater control and zirconium is not works and it's pop trouble code because uh, it's cold and the, the heater element didn't work and it's not uh, reading proper properly uh, we talk to customer and probably we replace that ECU and program it uh, today I'm start work on SVG Guys, it's it's a beautiful car. It's it's brand new. You can see how it's clean. Of course, it's clean. And it's I glad I glad really work on this car because it's. I mean, I don't have kind of word how it's it's beautiful car and uh, about detail on this car and uh, the other car. It's brand new. Uh, Uris uh, came for downpipe and full exhaust replacement. Yeah, this is just like a couple hundred miles. Uh, we installed a uh, cutted downpipe and the rear muffler to the more louder. It's brand new, cool car, really simple. I want to back to Aventador SVG to finish uh, service and I hope we start soon work on on exhaust. Yeah, this is our McLaren jig with the new cooler already done, and this is another vlog about the BMW build. But I just wanna show you guys everything in progress. The cylinder head almost done. Just now a part washer to clean from garbage and dust. Look at this. Look at this piece of art. That spoiler is beautiful. Well, yeah, now it's start to do the service on this car. Guys, like usually we maintain about any uh, Aventador, nothing crazy, I mean just like drain, fill, precharge the oil filter, uh, we already installed the new tire and we check what we need for that exhaust build, like our plan for this and yeah, quick service, uh, reset service reminding, 
take the test drive. Of course, I, I'm a little bit scared because <laughs> car is it's a little bit expensive, but anyway, of course, I have to. Yep. Well, guys, today I would like to show you about installation city suspension, active suspension. Uh, we done three, four times on Audi's R6, R7. And now we install on Audi, <laughs> Audi, sorry, <laughs> still Audi, uh, Lamborghini Urus. Uh, it's still similar what we did. We just uh, connect wire right there, the other wire over here and module we hit on this place. The rear one, you can see module over there. This is master module connected to the level. The other one connected to the level control and the wire go inside inside right there you can see it's go to the this this connection ah i'm sorry it's a little bit yeah right here you can see just like with the, this one yeah this plug and the going inside now I will lower it and show you uh, how to connect the CAN bus uh, and where is the CAN bus located connected to the module. Okay, you can see we move the wires from this area and we need to connect this two wire. Let me show you guys again. Yeah, this two CAN bus wire you can see the black orange and uh, gray orange to can bus like it over there we need to connect this wire by clip right here and then assemble everything back and this here is ready to use uh, CTE suspension lowering module well you can see now it's car already <laughs> lowered here is the up from this guys from this company and you can see it's going I just added see lift let's go down uh, 30 see now it's like low start lowering going down One more, Psh. done. Oops, almost killed myself. <laughs> but now it looks good. I like it, I love it. Uh, the spacers is already in. Uh, I believe this is 10 mil spacer and it's enough. Beautiful car, beautiful sound. And car is ready to go to happy customer. <laughs>